I went on a Malaysian street food tour with my friend Nisha in Kampong Baru, Kuala Lumpur. We tried a lot of delicious food from Ramli burger to Apam Bali to Chendol dessert. So make sure to stick around till the end to see this American food you're trying durian for the very first time. So this is our first stop. Okay. It's called Ramli burger. That's the Malaysia's favorite burger. <laughs> so these gentlemen make the best burgers in town. Oh, okay. This one beef. Wow, you can buy them too. Uh, this one nice. Good. Thank you. Okay. I hope you're hungry, Nisha. I am. I am. I haven't had anything all day just so I can eat some good food now. This is the chef, Mr. Din. Do you have burgers like this in States? No, I've never seen a burger wrapped in an egg before. This is my first time. They do like sunny side up eggs sometimes yeah. or like like medium eggs because they like their yolks a little bit yolky. Mm -hmm. But um, not like this. The price of this burger is only $1. Cheers. Cheers. We're going in together. All right, let's do it. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Wow. Wow. So what do you think? It's so tasty. It's incredible. It's just a little tiny burger joint, but the burger is so tasty. And I love the sauces they put on it. I love the like thinly cut cucumber. It really makes such a big difference. Please ask for extra napkin because this is gonna get messy. Mm -hmm. It's so juicy. Mm. Wow. It's so perfect. I literally love the egg. <laughs> well, the first stop, she loved it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have tried burgers in many places, like especially the Ramli burger, and this is my favorite Ramli burger place in Kuala Lumpur. Mm. Every single bite is delicious. Mm. You just like don't want to stop eating this. I don't know why. <laughs> That's the good kind of burger. Right? Yeah. You want to go all in. And it's not too greasy either. Because sometimes American burgers can be so overwhelming and greasy mm. the, and salty. But this is just perfect. So how was your first Romley burger experience? It was saucy, it was juicy, and it was delicious. Oh my goodness. It's like this little burger joint, but it's so good. And with all the sauces and the toppings and the egg, that was great. Our next stop is Abambale, which is a peanut pancake. Have you tried Abambale before? I've had the little Appam's before. Okay. I had it from this little sweet lady small car in Penang, but I've never had this kind. Oh, this is a giant Appam Bali. Yeah. See how fluffy this one is. The price of this huge pancake is only one dollar. Wow. He's been making this for 40 plus years. What? Yes. Wow. Wow. That's melting marshmallow. Wow. That's really good. So your first up on Bali. Yeah. It, it's really hard. We need to yeah. find some place to sit down and we're going to enjoy it. Let's too. go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So, are you excited for the durian? Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make her try the durian today. I'm pretending to be excited, but honestly, I'm kind of scared. Because she's been avoiding it for so long. She has been to many countries where they sell durian, but every time she finds an excuse to escape. 
yeah. but not today today we're gonna make her try the durian because now is the season so they have fresh durian we're going to find a place where they sell fresh durians we're gonna sit down and enjoy a lot of it a lot hmm. i don't know about that but it is time for me to try it because every time i'm like no next time next time but today i think i should at least try right <laughs> definitely this. Wow, check this out. It's so thick. He likes it. Thick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. So, I've never had upham before. Mmm. 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 Baked to perfection. Wow. That's so different. I've genuinely never had any kind of bread with this texture and you see like the lines in it. It's so spongy and the inside is like a lot of peanuts. So it tastes like peanut butter to me. This is super, super yummy. This is one of my favorite desserts in Malaysia. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. There's a little bit of banana flavor in the batter and yes, she's right. Like. The peanuts kind of melts with the butter and then they give you like a peanut butter flavor. Yeah. Delicious. It's like that sweet and salty mm. kind of combo. Mm. Mm. It's amazing. This dessert really hit the spot. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Mm. You have to try it if you're in Malaysia. So what do you think of the Malaysian street food so far? It's been incredible. I always knew Malaysia had good food because I always saw videos of the night markets mm. and everyone's always eating here it seems. Mm. But now I know like they have a lot of coconut, peanuts, corn, um, a lot of satay, and a lot of spicy. I love spicy food, so this has been great. Our next stop is Chandol. This place is really popular. They sell durian chandol as well, but we're just gonna try the normal chandol. Look how busy this place is. Have you tried chandol before? I've had a version of it in Penang. It was not that good in my opinion, but you've said some great things about this one, so I'm excited. Yes. I'm excited as well. I really like this one. Gula Malaka, which is like palm sugar. The price of this chandol is only one dollar. Oh, I'm so excited, yes. I'm curious too because it's like corn <laughs> with coconut milk and noodles. <laughs> Expect the unexpected. Yeah. More? Keep going, yes. Until it's become like a brown slurpee. Wow. Trying ice chandol. Wow, that was so tasty. Mm. I love the taste of that sugar. It's so like warm and kind of like that caramel flavor. It's so good. So, so, so good. It's kind of like a really sweet coffee with noodles in it. Like loosely. It's really, really tasty. Out of five, how many you will give? Five out of five for yeah. sure. This is delicious. Yeah. Especially with the heat, yeah. this ice is perfect. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Right? Now, this is like a deliciousness to a whole other level. Wow. Very refreshing. Yeah. I can feel like a little bit of the coffee flavor. This is like a Malaysian Slurpee. So, guys, whenever you're trying Kendall, mix it well so you can feel all the flavors all at once. Whenever you come to Malaysia, or if you have been to Malaysia and haven't tried chandol, you're missing out big time. This is so delicious. Oh my goodness. It's like this ice slushy palm sugar. <laughs> so yummy. So good. And here we are for our final stop of the day. We're trying durian. Yeah. <laughs> you don't my look so My stomach <laughs> already hurts. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's the smell for me. Oh. I think it smells delicious. Well, today is the day. Yeah. You've been avoiding it for long enough. Yeah, for years. 
now. And now so. is the season. The season is coming up, so we're gonna try some fresh durians. I'm really excited. And I'm really excited that she's gonna try it. Now, because it's the season, so people are coming and they're buying and like 10 kilos and stuff. That looks sweet. Yeah, look at it. It's so creamy. Ah, love it. single person here has been telling me to try the durian, the taxi driver, the friend, the local, and I've been avoiding it for as long as I can, but today is the day, okay? It's pretty spiky. I don't even know how to open it, dude. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. It's kind of creamy. So you guys know I'm adventurous with food, but something about the smell of durian, it always like repels me. <laughs> okay. It's literally like cream. Do you see this? Oh my God. Okay. If you get past the smell, actually it tastes like cream, like like a cream puff. It tastes like the cream from a cream puff, but a little bit less sweet. And people have been sitting here eating dozens of durian with their families, which I think is fascinating. I don't know if I would eat this like very excitedly, but honestly it's not bad. Like I thought it would be terrible and weird, but it's pretty tasty. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Your first durian. That's actually not bad. Yeah. First of many. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Nishi has her first durian ever. And it was actually pretty good. <laughs> she enjoyed it. My mind did not think it would be good, but it's pretty good. If you have been in Malaysia or any Southeast Asian country and you have seen the durian, but you've been afraid of trying it, please get past the smell. The taste is actually really good. Mmm, very creamy. Mm -hmm. I love durian. Mmm, so good. And because now the durian season is starting, so they are fresh. Yeah, Americans are very afraid of like fruit that look like this. At least I am, so... But the inside is really soft. <laughs> it's really good. It gets better every time you try it. I think so. It gets better with the time. You get used to it? Yeah. So what would be your advice for the people who want to try it and they are being afraid of it? Look, I've tried durian flavored things and they don't taste that good. So don't base your judgment on that because the actual fruit is really tasty. It's creamy, it's kind of sweet. And really, it just tastes like a cream puff to me. So just go ahead, do it. Like the first bite is going to be weird. But once you get used to it, I think you'll like it. It's like an acquired taste. Yes, it is. It's not for everybody, but once you try it three, four times, it's really good. Exactly. I would eat it again, for sure. Yeah. Here, we have some more. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be now, but okay. <laughs> While we add it. A nice clean one. So, how was your experience today? It was really fun. I tried a lot of new things, expanded my horizons, especially the durian. That was really crazy. But I'm so glad I got past that like mental barrier because I actually really like the fruit. And the burger, 
was probably one of the best burgers I've had. Wow. Actually, like it was so moist and so juicy, and I love the egg wrap. Oh, okay, okay. Guys, you heard it, like one of the best burgers of our life and he's from USA, you know, they are known for like yes. making big burgers. Big, beefy, juicy burgers, but this one is right up there and it's only one dollar? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, but crazy good. Mm -hmm. and if you are in Kuala Lumpur, check out the area Kampung Baru. It's not very famous, not many travelers come here, but I would highly recommend to all the foodies, they must come to this area and try the Malaysian authentic street food here. And and also, if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will personally invite five people from the audience to come here and do this tour here with me. Wow, that's amazing. Yes. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys very soon with another great video. Take care. <laughs>